Hello everybody, welcome to the next Sweepies commentary video. Looks like we're playing Sweepies versus Angler Jack's Aggravated Assault. I, today on stream, have cooked up the best... Oh, excuse, oh hold on, before we get to that, it is currently 10 p.m. January 23rd, 2024. Um, I have cooked up the best Teemo build, period. It is so sick. Hopefully we don't win too fast and you guys get to see it. I'm I'm quite proud. I used all my brain neurons to get this build underway. And it's poggers, okay? You're gonna have to you I mean you could skip to the end and see what I buy, you know, but um Just just take a look, okay? Okay, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm just gonna build stuff. The rune page is the same. We got PTA, we got like bone plating secondary for the Jack's matchup and stuff. But just just take a look at this build. No, we're not buying hearts still, by the way. Um, we buy no full tank items. I'm not buying any, like, frozen hearts or jack shows or, like, canic rookerns or whatever. But, oh man, am I stoked. Mm -mm. Quite a long load screen. I just realized now that I have a Melio 80 carry, but, um, he's masters, so... Hmm. If you can get to Masters playing Melee Way to Carry, then... Oh, did they roll swap? They might have roll swapped. I wasn't really paying attention to Champion Select. Pathing straight to this bush level 1 for the Jax matchup. We do not want Jax to get into this bush without us knowing. Mm -mm -mm. If you let him get into this bush, you like show up and then he walks into the wave and hits you. Which is normally fine, but you guys might be aware. Jax has an ability. That makes it so auto attack damage does not affect him. And that includes minions. Ah, uh, Mr. Olaf? Hello? Mr. Olaf! Oh, yep, yep, yep. He has no idea. And plus, this can happen. You can get situations like this. How is everyone's day? Look at him. <gasps> you fucking memer, bro. I'm just gonna wait for them to start coming. I'll scout ahead. Uh, that's good though. We don't have to kill him. We can just get damage and it's fine. Got his flash too. Really good. Really good. Mm -mm -mm. Deep suppression. Does this guy main Malzahar? Holy moly. Let's see if Jax TP's back level 1. Should be paying attention. Let's go ahead and put a bit of damage on the wave. Pull it a bit from the bush. Save my ward. Jax is e -start. So... Mr. EUS Timo Allen swears that Jaxes will start Q against him, and it makes the matchup unplayable. I am hoping I see a Jax start Q. I have, I've, I've never seen it. It's never happened against me. I've never witnessed it against another. Um, I need to, uh, I need to see it happen. I always see them start E. Do 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 do. do. Just getting my CS. I also realized today that playing Teemo is like going to Chipotle. Okay? Like, hear me out. So, you go to Chipotle. Let's say, like, last season, you know, Teemo goes to Chipotle. Teemo would be fine going to Chipotle and just getting, like, you know, yeah, I'll just buy, like, I'll just get, like, a carne asada burrito, you know, put some, like, rice in there and some, like, beans and some, you know, some... Ch some, like, some shmeat and whatever. Yes, and then, like, you know, you get to the end of the Chipotle line, and they're like, would you like to fucking spend two extra dollars for some guacamole? And you'd be like, ah, nah, it's like two extra bucks just for guacamole. Like, this is, you don't really need that. But nowadays, it feels more like Timo, like, needs the guac. You know, he needs to be able to afford the guac. So, we need to try to, um... We gotta do, like... We gotta get our extra, extra like, dollars going, you know? Like, the regular dollars from the CS, we need those, right? To be able to afford just, like, the base burrito. But to get the guac, I mean, you know, maybe, like, a bag of chips or something. You know, we need, like, kills and tower plates. So, um, I'm gonna be trying to get Howie plates. This Jax does not appear to be a, um... Jump on me with Q, Jax. 
Let's go ahead and let the wave come into the middle here. We have a 15 CS lead. Very good. Let's go ahead and ward for Mr. Talon. Probably not the best place to ward for Mr. Talon. Not going to lie, but... It's fine. Jump on me, bro. Do it. See what occurs. Did not mean to auto-attack that caster. Here, we just go slow with it again. He walks up to get minions. We pressure him. I don't really mind if he's getting any XP. You know, he's, um... he's Dude, this guy's getting, like, tacos at Chipotle right now. Like, if he's gonna get XP only, no farm, that's like going to Chipotle and getting a taco. He's not even getting a burrito, bro. Or a bowl, like... It's fine. We can just let it happen. Oh, you're trying to get a burrito, bro? Let me slap you up a bit. Hmm, had to be a bit care of gank, but... Honestly, at Jax's HP and in the wave, plus my level advantage, I believe I turn these ganks. Going slow with it. About to have a 30 CS lead at 5 minutes. You know, he Jax had a bad start with uh, the level 1, obviously, but let's just stay in lane, hit him. If he wastes his E, we can look to dive. A bit of a e waste, I'd say. Is he a flash? He can be win this. Get my stealth off again. Wait for Q. Stealth up again. Oh, stealth up again. Oh, and we're out. Holy. Dude, how broken is Teemo passive? Holy moly, is my champion fair? My god. Surprised he waited that long to flash on me. Well, we can't stay in that. We have to recall. We might lose some uh, minions to the tower, but you know, that is what it is. It happens that way. It occurs in that matter of way. Oh, you know, my minions might actually get there in time to well uh, hold the wave for me. It's going to be close. Oh. Oh, oh, it's dude, it's actually so good. Fuck, it's so good. Oh my god. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. My ball line has two support items. There's a Zarian in the game. I haven't seen that champion in a while. Just put a little shroom in there in case Jax wants to go proxy mode. Do my best at CSing on the tower. I think at this point, my lead is big enough on, um,. Jax that I can just push waves into him. Normally the way I like to play the Jax matchup is by freezing the wave. I mean this wave isn't in a freezable state, but like normally if I wanted to freeze the wave, I'd hard shove this wave to get it crashed and look for bounce back, but I don't think I need to do that if I have this item advantage on Jax, so. But I mean if he pushes, I could maybe look for it, but it doesn't look like it's happening. So let's stack let's stack a big wave. Get our EXP advantage and um, try to get tower plates when the wave crashes. It's kind of uh, some champions bode better against of getting like big crashes than others, depending on what their wave clear is exactly. Like, let's say hypothetically you're playing in Scion, right? You build a big wave and then Scion just kills it in like an E and a Q, right? And you're like, oh fuck, or Orn just like QWs it after like a certain point in the game and you're like oh fuck but champions like Jax who are like more or less single target have a hard time clearing out the big waves so you can get uh, a lot of minion damage with the stacked minions like his E doesn't do very good damage to just minions on its own so and we gave the cannon I should put a ward there for uh, Talon yeah so like see how he's just like autoing minions if he wants to jump on me, that's fine. I can just, like, back out a little bit. Get the kill on that guy. Triumph proc. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Olaf. Good thing Talon was level 5. Um, I believe Jax has TP, so we'll just leave it as is. Got a spend off. Dude, the game is going a bit too well, though. I don't... Uh, fuck, we might not be able to showcase a build. 
You guys might have to wait for the next Sweepy's commentary video. I'm so sorry. Should I int a little bit? What if I just like right like what if I just gave a Kali like a kill and then maybe like just ran bot and gave Zeri a kill like What if I made the game just like a bit spicier? Holy fuck, there's a fat jungle difference though. Hmm. Uh jungle's weak this season, so um hmm. Maybe it's just top gap. Maybe it's not even jungle gap, maybe it's top gap. But... Oh my god, there's no way. Oh my god. I was actually press E on the guy first, no? Just EQ, maybe he didn't have it. If I wasn't winning so hard, I would let this wave come into me and then I would trim it out a little bit and set up a freeze kind of near my tower. Very difficult for Jax to play the game over there, but I have such a lead that I'm willing to just shove it into Jax, look for a tower place, just try to accelerate my lead even more. And auto Q is kind of like a lot of damage to him at this point. And he can't really jump onto me very well. Yeah, if he commits like that, the trade is like two in my favor. That wasn't like even very good either. Pop my potions. He might look to do that again. Pew! You can time your uh, auto attack with when you think Jax is gonna let loose his Counter Strike, just to get a bit of uh, it's just a bit of, like an efficiency thing in the matchup. If he's right on top of you, you can still like wind the auto attack and get it off, but it's a bit hard to time that. But there's no reason to like not really try it. You can get like the auto attack wind up. Just put that there in case Talon wants to hop over. Getting tower plates. Ooh, if I put that shroom down a little bit sooner, that would have been pretty nice. Talon is here, just back up. Let him be on his merry way. Walk back up, I guess. Oh, walk back again. Oh, walk back up, I guess. Dude, I'm just keeping him interested. I'm just like flirting a little bit, you know? I'm just. I'm just flirting with the enemy jungler a bit. I'm kind of excited for them to nerf the support items. I think it's too good. Um, I think that now that I have a, you know, I'm a flashing gamer, I'm not really scared of them. If he's up here still, you know, I'm level 10, he's level 7. If he wants to try to gank me, I say, attempt it, good sir. Give it a whirl, isn't it? Give it, give it a try. Give it a good old polished try. Mm, could have ignited him there. I would have killed him. I don't know that he's not going to use E though, but... Stepbro is holding his E ability. Which is the smart thing to do if he thinks I'm going to go for a dive, so... That's chill. Oh, my mid laner has GC'd. Alright, this guy's going to come back to lane. He's going to all in me. Or not. I thought he might try be like, I just got back. It's time. Oh, he's doing it. I win this though. Yeah. Closer than I expected, low key, but I was confident that I'd win. Let's go ahead and uh, finish off my order with a bit of guacamole here with the fifth tower plate and. The first tower slain. Welcome back, Deep Suppression, Malzar player. I'm level 11, so that Shroom will kill the casters. Very good. Oh man, I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm going to have to eat after this game. Alright, first buy, that. Second buy, Yandri's. And you know, or excuse me, Haunting Guys. Haunting Guys, excuse me. And we might as well just buy, just get the... Let's just get another Amp Tome. You know, I'm playing an AP Champion. I'm going to use that Amp Tome to buy something else. Surely. Let's head back to top lane. Try to, um... Try to just be like a menace in the top lane. You know, make things difficult for Talon. It looks like Olaf is already making things difficult for Talon, though. So, let's go ahead and kill the Krugs on the way back to lane. I killed him pretty fast. Hemo is broken. Get the mid tower. If I was a Kali... I wouldn't want to play the game against Malzahar. Honestly, dude, I, if I'm anybody who's like... If I'm anybody who has to get near someone else, I don't want to play the game against Malzahar. 
just kill the minions. Probably could have kited them in a way where I take less damage, but still. Then my team is really owning. They might just FF. Yeah, Talon is going to walk into his top side and see nothing to slay, and that is going to make him sad, I imagine. Uh, hey man. Unstoppable. That'll kill him. Yo, get off my stuff. Talon did pretty good damage there with his uh, no items, though. Not gonna lie. Get that killed. Very good. See if Jax uses E here. Let's kill the wave a bit faster. If he does, I'll go. Even though he could always hop to minions. And eh, it doesn't look like he's going to Let's try that. Ooh, I fucked up my movement a bit. I'll flash on him for the kill. I think my movement was a bit better and I spaces E. Um, don't need to use flash in that situation. Wow, they're ending the game bot. Oh my god, what is wrong with me, bro? What is wrong with me? Summon Grib and Grob to hit the tower. RIP Grib and Grob. You guys did not last very long. Just FF man. Bro, they can't even FF the game yet. They can't even if they wanted to. Push the tower. Summon Grib and Grob once again. Hey Grib, hey Grob. For you. Dude, that's my Gromp, bro. That's my Gromp. Dude, that guy's so sad. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Otto! Otto! Did I get two autos to land on him there after he hopped away? Was I cranking that hard? Alright, I'm gonna I'm about to go back to the base. Oh fuck. Killing Seraphine, I swear that champion's broken. Killing that guy, that guy's champion's broken. Alright, we're going back to the base. I'm going to start my build. Oh fuck. He cancelled me. Alright, going back to the base. I'm going to purchase the next items in my build path. Oh my god, the FF. You guys are gonna have to wait for the next sweepies game. Or just come to the stream, or check my master history or stream something, but if you YouTube viewer only, you guys will find out what the build is tomorrow. Maybe. No promises, you know. Excellent sweep is game. Good job, Hote. Let's take a quick look at the damage dealt before I sign off. Doo -doo -doo. Nice game, nice game. Big damages. Timo OP, we go diamond two tomorrow. Okay, bye bye guys, I love you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye bye, I love you. Bye bye bye. -bye.